pe- for people like me who tends to overthink and panic easily, right? This is uh, the quote that I always uh, read. Well, I've got your Faiza in the call today. Faiza has been in our flow coaching program for uh, close to four seasons. Has it been four seasons already, Faiza? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How have you been? I'm be very great. Uh, I haven't feel uh, this good um, even after my. I mean, previously during my uh, netball season, and yeah, I, 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 I just have a lot of energy, and yeah. I feel great. <laughs> you said that uh, previously you were doing a lot of exercise, doing netball. Netball is the thing that you do. Yeah. Uh, what was happening back then for you? I think because I had always had this mindset that uh, I had to, if I exercise every day, uh, I can lose weight. So that always had that mentality I had was um, not the right way. Uh, so I exercise, I play netball um, sometimes four, four, five times a week, and then. Um, and then I always had this perception, okay, if you, lo- uh, if you work out, uh, it's, you're okay to eat whatever you want after, after the, the workout. Because in my mind, it's like you really lose all that weight. What? You, really, you think that you lost all that weight. So, of course, I can like, eat after that. So, um, yeah. So, but in, in the end, I gained more. And I didn't understand why. And I, it was very frustrating. So that's the reason why I, I mean, I was thankful that I, I was introduced um, to Herbalife. So um, I, it was very easy, easy steps. You just take my, uh, morning and then you take at night and then that's it. And then you have your post-workout shakes. And then after I work out, now I only spend like 20 minutes on workout. Or even on days, I just go for my walks. I don't have to exercise like vigorously every day. Uh, I, all I just need to do is my half an hour, 45 minutes walk, uh, especially in the evening, and then drink my post-workout shake, my, um, I add it with my active fiber or my F3, uh, and then it keeps you fuller, and you're good to go, as in it's so easy. I think a lot of people confuse the idea of uh, burning calories and putting it back on, and um, no matter how much uh, we exercise, we can never out-exercise a bad diet. How many of us really actually, uh, uh, after we exercise, we think that, hey, we can reward ourselves. But yeah. lo and behold, by rewarding ourselves, we over-reward. Yeah. yeah? And yeah. so that exercise has become uh, almost futile. Yep, that's right. I agree. So how has it been now for you uh, with the uh, change in habit? I think that building new um, healthy lifestyle, I, my sleep is better. I have so much energy. I, I even had energy to do my workouts during the fasting month, which I don't Amazing. know. I've never, ever, ever done that before. Um, and then, I, I don't know, the tea gives you the boost of energy. Like I, I just know what to do. It comes naturally because it's already a habit to me. The early morning, you just drink your shakes and then your snacks and then your tea. And then I have this energy that I don't know how to explain, but it, it feels good, you know. And I encourage everyone to just try it and see for yourself. And then, um, yeah, you'll never look back. Like, I hope I can enjoy this so I'm old and grey. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Old and grey. No, yeah, we are not going to go grey. But of course, we're going to have that glow. Eh? We have to have that glow. Exactly that. One of the important things uh, in our flow coaching program is that we, what we want to encourage people is to look at food, not just for food per se. We are yeah. not feeding ourselves. We are not feeding our needs, but rather we are feeding what our cells need because mm. our body is made out of cells, right? Uh, how we grow, how we develop. It's dependent on how the cells are able to absorb our nutrition. Um, yeah. One thing good about the meal plan as well, it's like you don't even have to count your calories because <sighs> we, it's so easy to like, uh, oh no, what do you have to eat? You know, if you're outside and you don't have like guidance, you don't know what to do. So it's like, if you just follow the meal plan, it's already calculated. <laughs> Uh, you have calculated it for us. Like, it is easy and we just know, okay, today we're cooking this and this. Okay. And then you improvise it. You can add like cranberries or like, you know, just have the right portions and uh, have a bit of sweetness. If you don't want certain things, just add oranges. You know, you can improvise it to be your own 
uh, thing. So yeah, I think the meal plan is really good because yeah, it does your calculations for you. Yeah, later. sometimes we, when we get caught up in counting calories, we just find it ah, uh, it's such a hassle that you just can't do it. But actually, there are possible ways, and that's what uh, that's how we work with Herbalife Nutrition. Now, the Herbalife Nutrition shakes provide one component of it, whereby you don't need to count your calories, and then you can focus on a couple of other meals uh, that in overall. It will match whether you are looking to have calorie deficit or you want to have calorie, uh, what you call it, surplus. surplus for people who yeah. wants to gain weight or people who wants right. to gain muscle. Of course, they need to have calorie surplus. Okay, so Faiza, tell me, how, what's your transformation so far? Um, I was sixty four point eight in December now I'm like 57 uh, it used to be 55 but it's okay I, I, I gain a bit because I think I've been exercising and build, gaining muscles a bit I feel and I did I, I'm not even bothered about that like gain because I know that it's like your muscles gaining and uh, now right now I want to focus on weight as well because um, People think that if you use weights, you you have bigger uh, body. And of course, I I also saw your Instagram post as well about um about weights training. It helps you lose weight, in fact. And also, um yeah. So now I'm like slowly. Uh, I bought my I bought my um my weights uh from Shopee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so i'm prepared for july so i'll have like more workouts to do uh, a lot of ladies they tend to fear a uh, strength training thinking that uh, yeah. they'll put on the bulky muscle but truth be told yeah. you don't have that same amount of testosterone as men to be bulky yeah. but rather when you do strength training a couple of things happens one of the things that happen is that you build muscles you build lean muscle mass mm. and when when you have more more muscle mass, then you'll be able to burn more calories. And that's why sometimes we all wonder, hey, how come all those athletes or people who are fit, they can eat everything that they want and not put on weight? Well, we have to so worry so much not to eat and then we still put on weight because firstly, we don't have enough muscle mass. Yeah. Yeah. And when you don't have enough muscle mass, you then would tend to put on more fats. Mm. Yeah, and we know that fat mass uh, don't burn as much calorie as muscle. So good job, uh, good job on changing your routine. So you went from uh, weight loss or rather fat loss, and now you are looking forward to build in more muscles. Oh, yeah, Quite good. So is is that your next goal that you have right now? I mean, for me, I just want to be um, back to my fifty five, and then after that, I'm good. I'm already okay. Then I'm going to build my muscle. So 2 kg is easy. I think. I mean, Alhamdulillah. I mean, it's, I, am, I trust, right? July, if I can lose weight so much already. I'm sure what's 2 kg. One thing that I would like to touch on now is that you are also now, uh, you, you have been empowered with the knowledge. You have been empowered with uh, the skill set from the past four seasons of Flow Coaching Program. Now you are now paying forward to your friends. I hear that you've been coaching. How many friends are you helping right now? Um, friends and family. So I have my dad, um, I have my brother, I have um, three of my friends who uh, uh, joined, I mean, is in the Herbalife program and also Nadia and Nisha. So I'm very proud of them. I'm very proud of also Nadia and Nisha because initially both of them did not even work out a single thing. Like they didn't even work out. So whenever they ask me, if you want to work out, I never turn them down because I don't want them to feel like, oh no, they're doing it alone. So I said, it's, it's, even if it's um, twice in a day workout, I didn't mind at all because I don't want them to feel alone and then I feel that they need that, that support. So um, whatever it is, um, I'm so proud of them. Like. Excellent, excellent. You're <laughs> setting a good example, leading that lifestyle. You're changing your lifestyle and now you're paying it forward to someone, to your friend, to the close community that you have there. Really, uh, that is really the power of it. I always say this uh, to a lot of people, is that a measure of a good man is not how much he has. Yeah. But a measure of a good man is how much he gives away. And by you, having being empowered with the knowledge now now you are then paying it forward to the community yeah. congratulations Faiza. Yeah. It, it's okay if you just lose one or two kg it's not about losing so many kg in a month it's about being consistent and it's about um 
it's about being uh, you have to enjoy the process this is not like a, a a thing that you have to follow and if you don't follow that's it you know you just have to be have fun with it improvise it and then it make it into your own and then you'll have fun with it so it, you don't feel pressured if you see low ratings alamat your ratings is this no you learn from that you learn okay sometimes you need to learn like okay what am i missing uh you know so that that's what i i, I want to Uh, encourage all my coaches and also um, share this um, share this quote okay you wouldn't plant a seed and then dig it up a few minutes to see if it if it has grown so why do you keep questioning yourself your hard work and your decisions have patience stop overthinking and keep watering your seed because you should always keep on watering your seed and pe- for people like me who tends to overthink and panic easily right This is uh, the quote that I always uh, read, um, and then if I yeah, I, and I want to share it with all of you. So I always keep it in handy. So that's why it's like easy for me to just grab it and and read it to all of you. So yeah, I hope uh, you can be motivated, encourage each other, inspire each other, and of course uh, have fun. Just have fun with it. That quote reminds me of the law of germination, meaning which. Everything has its time and place. Yeah. yeah, you sow a seed. How many years does it take for durian to harvest? Yeah, not one month. Yeah, yeah. And how many years has it taken us to put on our weight? We can't expect for us to lose all in yeah. one month, either or thirty days. And everything takes um, that time to actually grow. And that's a very very good. Good. That. Thank you so much for sharing. I, I would like to, before I end this session, I would like to affirm you. I would like to acknowledge you, Faiza, for your great positivity that you have in the chat room, in the flow. You have you. grown from season to season, from a shy person, yeah, <laughs> to someone who is just out there raring and cheering. And now, not only do you cheer people, you are also helping to coach them to a better lifestyle. So I want to acknowledge you for that. And that's something that you, I would like you to continue. Yeah. And one last question that I have for you. Yes. Tell me, for you, yes. what makes a great life? Just being happy and enjoy um, everything that you do and just be grateful and thank, never forget whoever who helped you along the way. And, and just... Just be grateful, yeah. Just be grateful and thankful, and yeah. These are the three things that I just wanna. Uh, gratitude is the highest level of emotion yes, that we have. Yes. Gratitude, uh, gratitude for the people, gratitude for uh, for God, uh, yes. to God for helping us because uh, we all come from Him, and to Him we will go back. And also that the people that God bring us, uh, bring yes. to us uh, yeah. in our journey, the connection, so the, the trust. And uh, the trust in believing in people, that in that helping each other is very important. And then you might never know how many people you might touch, you know. So just continue to spread joy, spread that positivity, spread that positivity and love, and um, yeah, just just be sincere and just love yourself and love others. That's what I say. Nice, love yourself, love <laughs> others, and on that note. That is such a good, good uh, quote to end it off right now. Thank you so much, Faiza, for this session. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.